Do you know how you can tell that your GED teacher has no life? She spends her Saturday mornings on Facebook looking at who she can help with the GED instead of, um, I don't know, taking the day off, going shopping, sitting in the sunshine, whatever, you know? So I found this question of the day, or it's not a question of the day, but I found this question in one of the groups that I belong to on Facebook. Somebody was asking, how do you solve something like this? So first of all, we have some incomplete directions. I'm fairly certain that the question here is, um, is uh, decide if the following lines are perpendicular. So decide if the following lines are perpendicular. So first of all, we should know what that word perpendicular means. Uh, if two lines are perpendicular, they come at a perfect right angle to each other. So for example, these two lines would be perpendicular. Uh, they cross at a perfect 90 degree right angle. So, I mean, I guess you could graph these lines and then look if they're, if they're perpendicular, but there's a much easier way. Um, what you can just do is imagine, um, is examine their slope. So we've talked about slope before, but as you guys know, slope is when you look at our y equals mx plus b formula. You remember I always say, why am I always alone? So you need your y alone. Even my x is married, the m that misses X as I joke around, that's the slope, is always next to the X with a baby. And so your B, your Y-intercept is always alone. So this guy, the number that's with X is always your slope. Well, when two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are gonna be opposite in two ways. Uh, the first way they're gonna be opposite is with the sign. We're gonna see opposite signs when they're perpendicular. So if one of the slopes is positive, the other one will be negative and vice versa. Um, and then the second way they're going to be opposites is they'll be reciprocals of each other. They'll be multiplicative inverses. Now you're probably saying, what the heck is a multiplicative inverse? Reciprocal, I can spell. That Guys, that's just the flip of a number. Okay, so they're going to be opposite in sign and they're going to be flipped upside down. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, let's look at A. A, the first line, I think somebody forgot a Y. Y equals, okay, so looking at this, here's my first line. Y equals one third X plus two. So the only part I need to examine is my slope. The slope is the number with X. And I'm going to imagine if I gave him an opposite sign, he'd be negative. And then if I flipped this number upside down on his head, it would be 3 over 1. 3 over 1. Now, a lot of us know that when you have a 1 on the bottom of a fraction, it just basically goes away because negative 3 divided by 1 is just negative 3. And so I could see that a line that was perpendicular to this line would have a slope of negative 3. And indeed, look. This line does have a slope of negative three. These two lines are perpendicular. Yes, they're perpendicular. Hope that makes sense. Now let's go on to the next problem. Again, let's examine just our slopes. So we have y equals three x minus four. There's a slope three. And then once again, this person left out their y. Guys, don't leave out your y. Without your y, you don't have a line. So I'm just gonna put this in here. But my second one is y equals one third x plus two. So there we go. We have our three, we have our one third. So one thing you're going to notice is they are reciprocals. One third is a flip. Um, it's like I flipped the fraction upside down on its head. Um, however, you're going to notice they don't have opposite signs. In both need to be true. So these two lines are not perpendicular. Let's look at this one. If you look at this one, here's the number with x, three. So this line has a slope of three. Here's the number. Uh, with x over here, this line has a slope of 3. So are these two perpendicular? No, they have the exact same slope. In fact, if you were in class, you would know that these, when two lines have the same slope, they're not perpendicular, they're parallel. So those two happen to be parallel. Okay, now let's come over here. I have a slope of 3 on this one, a slope of negative 3 on that one. So check off yay for the opposite signs, but notice we didn't get the flipping action. The number three was not flipped upside down on its head to be one over three, so they're not reciprocal, so still no, these two lines are not perpendicular.